A Chattanooga police officer along with another person were shot this morning at a Waffle House off East 23rd Street. Police tell us that both were discharged from the hospital earlier today, but the search is still on for the person who pulled the trigger. Channel 3's Hunter Hoagland went to that Waffle House today, and Hunter, this has the community rattled. Paul, I talked with a few people today on East 23rd Street. They tell me crime is common there, but not what happened early this morning. The corner of East 23rd and Kelly. That's where Christopher Roll sets up shop. Because we have the 42 pair of socks for $10. You just can't find that anywhere. They're $10, three for 25. For over three decades, Christopher and his wife have been vendors on this corner in Chattanooga. Been out here since 1980, 81, something like that. After nearly 40 years in Chattanooga, not much surprises him. But last night's shooting did. We know that this area can have some crime with it, but a policeman getting shot in Chattanooga, Tennessee? It's just, it's mind boggling. It's unreal. He says this is a new low. I didn't think Chattanooga would go to that level to shoot policemen. For Roll and his family, it's hard to understand the events that unfolded last night at East 23rd Street. I don't know what was in the mind of the person, whether it was male or female that shot this policeman, but I don't understand it. It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. Robert Townsend lives nearby. That's not good. Officer being shot is uh, those guys uh, protect, you know. He too trying to make sense of what happened last night. Crime is a choice, you know. There are other options. In the parking lot of Waffle House. A place like that, the Waffle House, for example, uh, it's a public place, you know. Most people want to feel they're comfortable, safe uh, as they go out in public. Townsend says today he's more cautious. It makes you feel real uneasy having to go in public and not be able to predict a fair amount of uh, safety. They say it takes just one person to make an entire community feel on edge. So there's a bad apple in every bunch, and I don't know what happened with this cop shooting thing, but our heart goes out for it. We want Chattanooga to be a better city. The identity of the officer along with the other victim have not been released. Police are still searching for the shooter. If you know anything, you're urged to call the Chattanooga Police Department. Live in the studio, Hunter Hoagland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.